Hey guys, Brett here, and in this video, I'm looking at a new cloud based software called Quiz Funnels. Now, Quiz Funnels is a software that actually surprised me with the results that I got from it, and I'm going to explain that in a second. But first, I want to walk you through what Quiz Funnels is, show you the members area, and show you exactly what it does. Okay, so when you log into Quiz Funnels, you're going to see a screen that looks similar to this. And the first thing that I actually suggest people do is go over here to the integrations section and link up one of your autoresponders. So Quiz Funnels integrates with several different autoresponders. There's Active Campaign, Get Response, MailChimp, AWeber, Constant Contact, and you can't see it, but at the very bottom there is also SendReach. Once you link up your autoresponder, you're then ready to start creating your quiz. And in order to do that, simply go on the left hand side here and click on the Create Quiz link. Now you have two options for creating your quiz. You can go ahead and create a quiz from scratch or you can select a template. Now I'm not going to create a quiz from scratch. What I'm going to do instead is walk you through one of the existing quizzes that I've already created and tell you what each setting does. And then I'm going to show you the quiz when it's done. And finally, I'm going to show you the results that I got when I used this quiz myself to generate leads and to get clicks. The results actually surprised me and I think they're going to surprise you as well. Okay, so this is the edit page for my existing quiz. And you can see in order to create or edit a quiz, you actually go through a couple of different steps. The first one is the configuration, and that's basically just going to set up how the quiz is going to look. Anything like colors or a graphic and a preview image, a logo, branding, all of that stuff you'll put in the configuration section. So you simply fill in the settings right here, and you can see there's actually a live preview on the right hand side of the screen that's going to update as you change the settings and let you see exactly what your quiz is going to look like as you're configuring it. I really like this. I really like that it's a live preview too. So when I change something on the left hand side, it will change the live preview on the right hand side automatically, even as I'm typing or as I'm doing my updates. I know as a developer that these kinds of live previews are a real pain to create. And I like that they took the time to put this in here. I like that they went that extra mile. Uh, it shows professionalism that they would do that. A lot of people wouldn't put in a live preview, uh, but they did, and I was pretty impressed by that. So after you configure your quiz and set up how it's going to look, set the feel, the branding, any type of logos or graphics, the next thing you're going to want to do is put in your outcomes. Now, Quiz Funnels is actually created slightly backwards. At least I thought it was backwards when I first started using it. But as I went through the whole process, I realized that it makes perfect sense to do it this way. The way Quiz Funnels works is you ask people different questions and then each question will be a vote for a particular outcome. Depending on how they answer those questions, one of the outcomes will then show at the end of the quiz. So in my test quiz, what I actually did was I said uh, it was a quiz to let you know if you're going to be well suited for Internet marketing. So the outcomes were one, no, probably you're not going to be well suited or two, yes, you are probably well suited for internet marketing. And I asked several different questions in my quiz, and depending on how people answered those questions, it would then be a vote for no, they're not, or yes, they are. So their actual answers would determine the outcome. Now, I only had two outcomes, but I could have had several outcomes if I wanted to. And because you have to know what the result of your quiz, what the possible results of your quiz are, in order to create your questions, this is why it makes sense to create the outcomes first. So once you set up your outcomes, you can then go ahead and start adding in your questions. Now you see it's asking me if I want to add in a new question, but I want to show you some of my existing questions. So down here you can see I actually have seven current questions in my quiz. I'll go ahead and show you the questions. So if one of the questions is, what is your current financial status? And then there are several answers that I put in here. I could actually have anywhere from one to five answers in each question. So I have like A, you're dead broke. B, I have a job. C, I earn a fair living. B, I, D, I make a lot of money. And then you can actually see here with this number right here where I check on this. This is actually going to show me which outcome selecting this choice is going to be for. 
So in the previous screen, I showed you I had two outcomes. Outcome one was me saying you're probably not well suited for internet marketing. And outcome two was me saying that you probably are well suited for internet marketing. So if people were to select A on this question, it would be a vote for outcome one. If they selected C on this question, it would be a vote for outcome two. And this is how you can have each question lead to a specific outcome depending on how the people answer the question and this is actually why you need to create your outcomes first because once you create your outcomes and the possible results of the quiz you then weigh them to each question so that way each question can become a vote for that particular possible answer now you can go through all of the questions here edit them as you want i have seven questions i could have as many questions as i want and as i said each question can have up to five answers in a question Okay, so after you have all of your questions set up, the next step is to do your leads page. And the reason you do the leads page is because you want to build your list. You have to remember, the people have gone through your quiz. They want to get the results. They want to see what the, you know, the quiz is going to determine for them. They're interested in it. They've put in a commitment to finish your quiz. Now is the perfect time to ask them for their email address in order for them to see the results of the quiz. They've gone that far. I mean, they've already put in a commitment. They're really likely to give you their email address. And there's actually two ways that you can ask them for their email address. You can do it with a normal sign-up form where they just enter in their email address, or you can choose the option that I like, which is to use sign up with Facebook. So this way there's one button click, they authorize the app for quiz funnels, and then I get their Facebook email address. If I didn't want to use that, I could just use the regular sign up form where they enter in their email address. But the point is that you definitely want to have a leads page created. You can skip this step, but I don't see why anybody would ever want to skip this step because as I said, these people are already committed to you. They've already gone through the quiz. Now they want to see their results. This is the perfect time to ask them for their email address and I'm actually going to show you the results that I got when I did my live test so you can see that this actually does work by asking them the email for their email at this point the final step is the offer so if you go on click on the offer tab you can create an offer now I had two possible outcomes the first one was that you're probably not well suited for internet marketing so my offer for this was really not an offer. It was just me saying, hey, thanks, guys. I really appreciate you signing up for my quiz and taking my quiz, and I hope you enjoyed it. The other outcome was that, yes, you are well suited for Internet marketing. So what I actually did was I put an offer in here. If I go ahead and click on it, you can actually see what my offer is. There's a couple of different types of offers. You can actually put in a video if you want to. You can put in a graphic. I just put in a little bit of text. And the text that I put in was really simple. I said, looks like you're ready and willing to start your online business. Click the link below to see how you can get a step-by-step -step guide that explains how I started my seven-figure per year business. And then there's a button here that says learn more. And if people click on that, it actually takes them over to the sales page for my Brett's Circle training. And this is actually, again, a perfect time to offer them something because they've gone through the quiz, they've given me their email address, I know something about them because I know a little bit about where they're thinking or where they're at because they've taken my quiz and based on their results I can now tailor an offer specifically to them it's very powerful it's really cool and again I was surprised at how many people actually click this I, I figured that some people would go through the quiz I figured you know a couple of people would try it out um, but really like a lot of people went through my quiz and a lot of people clicked that offer and a ton of people gave me their email address i'm going to show you that in a second I, i'm i'm a little excited about the results that i got uh, and i'm going to show you that in a second but first i want to actually show you my quiz i put my quiz on my blog and the way i got traffic for it was i posted a link to the blog post inside of my facebook group and i also ran a facebook ad the reason i ran a facebook ad is because i wanted to see if facebook would approve this type of quiz for an ad and they did they had no problems on it with approving it it was done within a few minutes and i'm getting some really good conversion rates i'm actually getting over four percent conversion rates on my ad which anybody who's ever done any uh, facebook ads knows that four percent on a facebook ad is really good uh, but first let's go ahead and look at this quiz on my blog post 
Okay, so this is the blog post that I made. You can see I have just a little bit of text, and then I used its iframe embed in order to put the quiz right inside of the post. You can see everything that's below this text is actually an iframe. Now, one thing that I really don't like about the iframe embed is the footer here. You can actually see it says 2016, quiz funnel, all rights reserved, then a link to terms of service, and a link to their privacy policy. And I understand why they put the terms of service in here, and I understand what they put, why they put the privacy policy in here. This is for Facebook. This is so that way if you run a Facebook ad, Facebook is happy because you have a terms of service and a privacy policy. Or if you post to Facebook. This is trying them trying to cover their butts and trying to cover your butt too to make you as compliant and easygoing with Facebook as possible and with other social sites that you might be sharing your quiz on. But I really don't like that they have quiz funnels on it. I wish it just said all rights reserved and then a link to the terms of service or privacy policy. Uh, sure, the terms of service or privacy policy would still be on quiz funnels, uh, but it would be a little less prominent that you're using quiz funnels. Now, this isn't the end of the world, though, because, I mean, like, it's not a big deal that you're using a quiz script. I mean, so what? You didn't write the quiz custom yourself. That's not going to change anything as far as people are concerned. I mean, nobody's going to come here and be like, oh, I'm really interested in taking this quiz. It sounds exciting or fun, but darn, they used quiz funnels. Can't do it. Uh, you know, that's not really going to matter too much. It, it would be cool if it was gone, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, I'm rambling. Let's go ahead and take the quiz. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Start My Assessment button, and you can see it's actually going to run me through my quiz now. First one is, what is your current financial status? I'll go ahead and say, um, I earn a fair living, but I want more. And I'll just go through each one of these questions. I'm not going to make you listen to me read them. So I'll just enter some answers in here. And you can see now that I finished my quiz, it's going to say, check your results. And it's going to say, log in with Facebook or sign up with Facebook. That's what I chose to use. I could have had a sign up uh, form here where people entered in their email address, but I wanted to use the Facebook. I like Facebook. I like login with Facebook. I'll go ahead and click on that. It's going to authorize me in Facebook and it's going to say, looks like you're ready and willing to start your online business. Click the link below to see how you can get a step by step guide that explains how I started my seven figure per year business. And it says learn more. And if I want to, I could show I can see the detailed quiz results. Uh, this, is, this is actually what I typed in for the, my quiz result for my outcome. It says, yes, you do. Based on your answers, it is likely that you have the skill set and mindset to do well with Internet marketing. Now, I'm going to admit I knew that this answer was what was going to show, and I knew that this offer was going to show before I took this quiz. And the reason I knew that is because I made the quiz, so I knew which answers to click. If I would have clicked the different answers, it, might, it would have shown a different outcome. Instead of saying that I was ready for and willing to start an online business, it would say that, sorry, internet marketing might not be for you at this time. Then when I had a link to my blog and said, feel free to browse around my blog, though. Uh, again, I could have had multiple outcomes if I wanted to. I could have had different offers based on the outcomes. I did a very simple quiz just as a test. Uh, but what we really want to do now, though, is look at the results I got from this quiz. So let me go over to quiz finals again, and I'm going to show you some of the stats and reporting. Okay, so this is the dashboard for quiz funnels, and you can actually see there is my first test quiz, the one that I just showed you. And we can see the statistics on the right hand side here. See, I just created this today. I actually just created it, it was like six hours ago I created this. It says that I've gotten 322 views, so 322 times my quiz has been shown. It doesn't necessarily mean it's unique people, uh, but it, my quiz has been shown 322 times. Now, this is the important one. It says leads, 82. 82 people have gone through my quiz and chosen to give me their email address. Now, that's a lot of people, 82 people. Now, granted, I did post this on my Facebook group, and some of those people inside of, their, inside of the Facebook group are going to this quiz and they're thinking like oh who cares i'll get brett my email address because i'm already on his list anyway but a lot of these leads did not do that a lot of these are fresh leads i've gotten a lot of leads from this and i've only been running this for a few hours i'm pretty excited about that also you can see it says conversion rate now the conversion rate is actually the number of people who completed my quiz 
and then chose to click on my call to action button. So at the very end, when people were shown that they were ready to start an internet marketing business, I had that little call to action button that they could click on to go over to the sales page for my Brett Circle training. 54 people chose to click that button. That's a 25% conversion rate, which is a great conversion rate. So I'm getting a lot of leads and I'm getting a lot of clicks. Now we can actually drill down even more detailed if we click on this show data button. This is going to show some really detailed data about the quiz results. So here we are right here. You can actually see before it showed it was 300 and some times that my quiz was shown. And that's, as I said, the total number of times it was actually displayed for people. So if somebody goes to the quiz, hits the refresh button five times, it's going to count multiple times. But this is going to show me the number of unique people that actually took my quiz. So 161 people actually took the quiz. 95% of those people are completing the quiz. That's, I mean, that's fantastic. I, I expected like half of the people who started this quiz would actually go ahead and finish it. But 95% are completing it. It's taking them about 2 minutes and 23 seconds in order to complete the quiz. I've gotten 82 people who have completed the quiz and then chosen to give me their email address. So that's about 50% of the people that are taking the quiz are getting to the end of it and then saying, oh, I want to see my results bad enough that I'm going to give Brett my email address. So 50% is great, too. I mean, 50% for a squeeze page, this is almost what this is. This is kind of like a fancy squeeze page. And 50% is unbelievable. That's a really good conversion rate. I have squeeze pages where I'm giving away free plugins that have hundreds of comments, people saying how great it is. And I'm only getting 30% conversions on that. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to get a 50% conversion rate. And then over here, you can actually see where it says the number of people that clicked my call to action link. 54 people did that. And that is a 25% conversion rate on my clicks. So in summary, 161 people have taken my quiz. 95% of those people completed the quiz. 82 of that 161 people have chosen to give me their email address just to see the results of my quiz. And then 54 of those 161 people have clicked my call to action link. Down here I can actually see some graphs that show uh, the more detailed statistics as well. It shows the views, the starts, the completions, number of times people have shared my quiz, and then on the right hand side it shows the outcome. So you can actually see 86.5 percent of the people are getting the outcome that says yes uh, that internet marketing is for them and 13.5 percent of the people are getting the outcome that says no it's probably not for them. Over here at the very bottom you can see the activity over time, which uh, for me is pretty bland because it's a daily activity log and I haven't even been running this for one full day yet. So, I mean, it's pretty exciting. I'm getting some really good results. The 95% completion rate is pretty fantastic. The 82 leads is pretty exciting and the 54 clicks over to my uh, sales page is also pretty exciting. And I'm just getting started with this. I've only been running this as a test. I mean. I really didn't think I was going to get these results, but I can guarantee you that I'm going to be running full scale Facebook ads that are leading to these cool quizzes. And, you know, when I think about it, it makes sense that these quizzes work because we've all seen these kind of quizzes on Facebook. We've all seen like, what kind of angel are you or what kind of Game of Thrones character are you or what kind of, you know, mythical beast would you be? We've all seen these silly quizzes. And people are taking them all the time. They're sharing them all the time. They're posting the results all the time. Uh, you can do a silly quiz like that, or you can do a more serious quiz like I did. But the point is that people get interested. They want to know what the results would be for them. So they start taking the quiz. And once they start taking the quiz, they're now mentally committed to it. So when they get to that very last section where it says, enter in your email address or log in with Facebook in order to see your results, so many people are going to do that because they've already gone through the whole thing. They've taken the quiz. They're excited to see their results. They're curious. And now they want to get their, their answer. So they're willing to opt in in order to get their answer. And then this takes it a step further by allowing you to customize specific offers to the people based on the answers that they give. So I'm pretty excited about quiz funnels. I thought I would kind of like it. I thought it would have decent results. 
But the results that I'm getting just from this one test are really good, really exciting, and I really like quiz funnels. And I actually, I don't say this very often. Normally I say that it, it may be a good investment, uh, you know, or it might be something worth looking into. But based on the results that I've gotten from quiz funnels, I'm going to say that this is probably something you're going to want to be using. It's something that I'm going to be using for sure. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you.